and guys, it is Sarah from Sai. Let's play. And today we are gonna begin a brand new episode story. I asked you guys to suggest one, and you guys said I should read I Married a Millionaire. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So let's see what this story is about. Is it about a gold digger? Is it what is it about? Let's see. It says a marriage of convenience, a girl who never believed in love, and a schmexy millionaire who wants only her attention. Daria should be opposed to the marriage, except she drives him crazy. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we go. So this is our love interest, Darius, okay? Would you like to change your love's interest look or gender? We're gonna go ahead and customize my boo a little bit. Here we go. So he basically kept him the, the same, just kind of changed his hair color a little bit and his haircut. Are you happy with the way he looks? Yes, he looks amazing. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to customize myself. I'm gonna be Kara. So here we go. I wanna change a few things. There we go, perfect, ready to go. Now choose my outfit, gorgeous glam. Let's check this out. Whoa, okay. Wow, that's really glam, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now, totes trendy. Let's see, oh, okay, that works as well. That's a cute outfit. We've got standard, you know, just basic. Wow, they really have to make her look that basic? <laughs> All right, let's go with gorgeous glam. Yeah, we'll go with gorgeous glam. Especially if she's gonna be talking to millionaires and stuff, you know? We gotta make her look really glamorous. So, be gorgeous glam, here we go. So she likes it, she's happy. Oh, five months ago. Are you excited, Haley? You're going to be on the cover of Lifestyle. This is it, the breakthrough of your career. Yeah, I'm sure it had nothing to do with that article they messed up and the boycott from the rest of the industry. Must have been hard to get the gig with everyone fighting not to work with them. <laughs> what? Look, Kaylee, I'm really sorry bookings have been slow. We're trying. It's been three years since I made my modeling debut with your joke of an agency. The most exposure you've gotten me was that commercial for diarrhea pills. <laughs> Is she really insulting me like that after everything I've done for her? Oh, you know what? Mm. Hey. I am working my butt off trying to get you this job, okay? I know. No other agent would have taken a chance on you with that attitude that you have. You wouldn't have any bookings at all if it weren't for me. So ridiculing me definitely isn't going to help your career. Oh, yes, girl, put her in her place. <laughs> Hello, Jefferson's Artsy Agency speaking. You're five minutes late. We can't begin the shoot without you. Oh. Oh, <sighs> we're on our way. Could anything else go wrong? Oh, Haley's right. Dad's company is doomed. Doomed in my hands. Dad suffered from a stroke a few years ago. He couldn't handle the news of his failing agency. A far cry from the golden heydays. You see, in this unscrupulous world of Hollywood, one has to be rich, influential, and deceitful to emerge on top of the entertainment food chain. But my dad had nothing. He did the best he could, but he was eventually trampled to the bottom. And he left it to me to keep his agency from sinking any further. You can do this, Cara Jefferson. You got it, girl. We believe in you. Well, part of last night was fun. You may leave now. Did you not understand, miss? So he's a jerk. Rachel, my name is Rachel. Right. Oh, Rachel, you should get your heel and just whack him over the head. <laughs> I got Daniel to send her home. Should I contact Flores to send a bouquet to her house? Sure, but what possessed me to bet that woman last night escapes me. <laughs> I have more updates on lifestyle. Ah, yes. Leave it to my beloved stepmother to insist on starting a magazine because her friends were doing it. Only to sink it into the ground with a disastrous article and industry boycott. Genius. What about it? Your father insists you handle the situation. 
Why am I not surprised? Ugh. Reschedule all my appointments for today. Looks like we'll be paying a lifestyle little visit. Oh, so that's how she's gonna meet Darius. <laughs> well, at least I look cute then. All right. <clears throat> you look so gorgeous. I absolutely love your style. You're the cheekiest model we've had in ages. Uh, hello, I'm the model, not her. Really? In that case, you should ask her for some fashion advice. Ugh, oh, I quit. Oh, whatever. She was a nightmare diva and bound to quit anyway. Darius is on his way. Places everyone. Darius is coming. Oh, I need to change into something way more fabulous. I can't believe Darius is coming here. Quick, fix my hair. Don't worry. You already look flawless. Are you ready for the shoot? You know I'm the agent, right? You're the agent? Where's the model? Darius is on his way. This has to go well. Well, I, I could fill in. I've been to so many shoots. I know exactly what to do. Plus, I can ima just imagine all the cute outfits that I'll get. <laughs> okay, cute little swimsuit, you know. When you're like traveling, vacationing. A zip-up bikini. Cute, cute. Oh, is that sequins? Oh, we love a bit of sequins. <laughs> a sequin swimsuit, yep. And, oh, what is that? Like a jumpsuit? A romper? Oh, yep. And a mesh swim romper. Oh, trust me. You do look really incredible in that outfit. I think you might actually have what it takes to save this shoot. Please, you just have to be the model. This is my epic opportunity to save the day and start in a glamorous photo shoot. All right, you know, let me get on that bikini. You're amazing. You can change into any swimsuit you want. Okay, so I'll pick the cutest one. I think the sequin one was kind of cute, you know, a bit more modest, but still cute because it's like, oh yes, sparkles. Uh, yeah, this one is perfect. That's the perfect outfit for the shoot. Let's get started. All right, where's Darius? Choose a pose. So we could do flirty. Ah, the lock. <laughs> that was not cute. <laughs> okay, let's do playful. Ah, all right, nice. And now you're doing marvelous. You should consider a career in modeling. Okay, oh, that's Darius. <gasps> uh, Darius, uh, what can we get for you? Who is she? She must be the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Well, you know, <laughs> let me show you around. <clears throat> okay. Next, we'll be shooting the pool scene. It'll be fabulous. The pool? Right this way. Girl, I hope you can swim. Uh-oh. I can feel the bile in my throat from all that churning in my stomach. I struggle to focus as my vision turned blurry. Breathe, Kara. You can do this. You're a fighter, right? Do we have to shoot in the pool? Can I just lounge by the pool? Wouldn't want to get the expensive swimsuit wet. Darling, it's a swimsuit. You have to be in the pool. Just let me take this call before I get to you. Start with some warm-ups in the water. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just water. Jefferson's mean so much to me, and I just know you're going to do an amazing job with it. We might not be the best in the industry anymore, but I'm sure you'll come up with something to turn us around. I believe in you, Kara. Come on, girl. Oh! Is she gonna drown? No! I remember the pain of the water gushing into my lungs. I flailed around helplessly as my silent cries only brought more pain. Cold. It was really cold. I was sinking deeper into an abyss of darkness and dread. Why wasn't anyone coming to rescue me? Have they all forgotten about me? Uh-oh. <gasps> all right, Darius, come save you today. Uh-oh, what kind of human being would see someone drown and not help? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Claremont. Claremont. I, I, I was preoccupied with a... She was drowning, she could have died. Uh, are you all right, Darius? Yes, but send a doctor to check on the girl. Uh, where did she go? Aw, she's embarrassed. Girl, it's okay. You almost drowned. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. You almost died. Aw. Kara, you're 
you're here to visit. How was the shoot with lifestyle today? I had to pull in a lot of favors to get that for us. Literally no one wanted that job. I certainly wasn't supportive of it. Did you give the job to Sarah? Nina who? They quit ages ago. Surely you didn't give it to Haley. That girl has an attitude problem and I don't. Is he seriously criticizing the way I run the agency? Okay, we don't want to defend ourselves because he could be dying. So we're just, we're just gonna, you know, we're not gonna say anything. We're just gonna ignore it. You know, it's not worth it right now. <sighs> She's trying her best, okay? Uh-oh. Donovan? It's Jefferson. Uh-oh. Oh, there's Darius. But all he's thinking about is Kara. The pool wasn't too deep. She could have easily waddled up to the surface, even if she didn't know how to swim. I can't believe she dashed off after I saved her. Not even a thanks? It ruined my suit. Uh, Mr. Clement? Uh, please call me Darius. Darius, about that role in your upcoming drama, friends or lovers, uh, I think I'd be perfect for... Um, my acting coach says I have a uh, major screen presence. Leave your contact with Ras and I'll see what I can do for you. Oh, well, I'm sure you can do a lot for me. You are the Darius Alexander Clement. Clement Entertainment is everywhere. Mm, you need to hold higher standards for yourself, okay? Let your talent speak for itself. Living so early? Not staying for dessert? I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Did you manage to find anything about her? Cara Jefferson, daughter of Fred Jefferson, the owner of Jefferson's artistry and agencies. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Her father suffered from a stroke a year ago when his investments weren't horribly wrong and she took over the immediately after she graduated from college. Mm. So what's he going to do? Buy her whole agency? <laughs> if she's an agent, why was she modeling a swimsuit instead of one of her models? Not that I was complaining. <laughs> It was just a split second, but it felt like time had stopped when I held her in my arms. It felt familiar. Those gleaming eyes had claimed me once, but where? And why can't I get her out of my head? Ooh, Darius is in love. <laughs> Hi, Jefferson's artisty agency. Uh, are you interested in? Hi, this is Jefferson's. Hi. Oh. oh. No calls accepted. There's an Emmy in the background. Dad, you're home. Oh, he's getting ready. Cora, your dad got permission from the hospital to come home for dinner tonight. Yes, we're having dinner with an old friend of mine. Go get changed into something beautiful. <sighs> Just choose an outfit, go for the stupid dinner, come back home and go straight to bed. That sounds like a plan. Just think of all the free food you're going to get from dad's fancy friends. Free dinner and bedtime once you get home. You can do this. I have low standards. <laughs> all right. So she's got a nice dress on. Where's my free food? <laughs> I did not come here to watch a bunch of old people chit chat. I just want free food too, to be honest. Oh, it's Darius. Sorry, I, I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh, it's you. Oh, you can't just <laughs> run away. What are you doing here? I'm forced to look at the man who had me pinned against the wall. Sure, he was easily one of the most gorgeous people I'd ever seen, but his wolfish grin took the icing on the cake. From the way his eyes glinted with anticipation, he clearly knew the effect he had on people. And he made no effort to hide it. No, I refuse to fall for this. <laughs> what the heck? You're the one who had me pinned against the wall. I did not sign up for this. I only came with my family for the free dinner. Wait, does that mean you're Cara Jefferson? This is an interesting turn of events. Look, I know you don't know me, but my assistant Rast has gotten a tip that something major is about to go down that could drastically affect the both of us. There are some particularly sinister schemes afoot, and I'm afraid we both could get caught in the crossfire. Let me steal you away from the dinner for a moonlit walk in the garden. I'll show you everything. It's the best way I can keep you safe. Mm, only because he's cute. <laughs> I don't need you to keep me safe, but 
if something's really going down, I suppose I could use your help. So what is going down? What is happening? Spit it out, Darius. All right, well tell me, no matter how much closer you came to me, it wasn't enough. Even though we just met, I felt like he'd always been by my side and I realized I didn't want him to leave. As his eyes locked on mine, I wondered if we could feel the connection like I could. Look, we don't have a lot of time, but you need to know the truth. Ras overheard my father talking to one of his business associates about you, about the plans they have in store. I don't know what they are, but I do know that they involve you and your marriage. My marriage? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not married. You're not? That's strange. Ras said he kept hearing how good your marriage would be for father's business interests. This doesn't make any sense. And why should I even be trusting you with this totally illogical intel? Because it's the truth. I'm just trying to look out for you. Wait a minute. You thought I was married when you had me against the wall like that? I can't believe you would act that way while thinking I was married. Uh, look, just, I'm just gonna be a little sassy. Putting me against the wall like that was kind of rude. And especially to someone who you thought was married. You're lucky I'm not married. Or I'd have kicked your butt for coming on to me like that. And you know what? I still might, honestly. <laughs> but since you're not married, and my father has involved us both in some kind of scheme... Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I'm afraid I know exactly what this scheme is. They're gonna want them to get married. Darius, my boy, there you are. I see you've met the lovely Cara Jefferson. Cara, this is Darius. You're marrying him. What? <laughs> you can't just say you're getting married. <laughs> you're marrying Darius. What on earth is happening? Keep reading to find out. So it looks like as of right now, um, this is an arranged marriage and both of our parents are, you know only worrying about their business plans. But anyway, you guys, I've got to say I really enjoyed episode one. I kind of think I know where this story is headed. Obviously, they're going to get married, but they're actually going to end up falling in love. I hope there's no like crazy twist or drama. But well, actually, I kind of do because we love a bit of drama but we'll have to wait and see don't forget i upload episodes every mondays wednesdays and fridays so make sure you guys come back next time for episode two once again i hope you guys had fun watching and i'll see you guys next time bye